Okay, now we're going to talk about energetic yawning and blinking. Now, I know the word energetic and yawning don't really go together, but... It's so important to yawn because when you yawn, and when I say yawn energetically, I mean, I mean like this. We really stretch out the temporomandibular joint, the TMJ joint here, and helps to relax all these muscles and it forces more oxygen into your brain as well. So it's really important to try to yawn throughout the day. Obviously you don't want to do it at work because somebody might think you're bored, <laughs> but, but yawning is good. And blinking is really important because you're supposed to blink two to three, every two to three seconds. So I doubt most people do blink that many times. I know personally, when I'm looking at a computer at work or things like that, your eyes start to get dried out and tired. Well, the problem with that is because you're staring, you're not blinking. So when you blink, this is how you blink or how you practice blinking. You close one eye and then close both eyes and then open the eyes, close the other eye, close both eyes, open the eyes, practice this. And then eventually you get to where you can close one eye and then close the other eye without ever closing both eyes. So that, then you get to the advanced level. Some people might be able to do this. Some, some people may not. Close one eye, close the other eye. One eye, other eye. One eye, other eye. If you're really fancy, you can do your eyebrow up like that, but that's just me. It took me years of practice. So the blinking. Now, why would you want to blink? And you know, we do the yawning, understand you want to relax the jaw muscles, neck muscles. That makes sense and gets more oxygen, that's always a good thing. But with the blinking, it's really important because if you're trying to see, as we mentioned earlier in, in other, other videos, if you're trying to see, you're putting stress on yourself and you try and you squint. So first of all, squinting causes wrinkles, especially in Southern California, that's a bad thing. So it causes wrinkles, but it also causes tension. So you can't, technically you really can't see as well when you have that tension. So when you blink, that actually creates a contact lens of natural fluid of tears over your eyes. So that's why it's so important to practice three, four, five minutes a day of, of the blinking to really help relax, especially if you're working at a computer a lot. Um, take, take some time every hour just to sit back for a minute, do a couple of yawns. Take a deep breath like that and then practice blinking just for a little bit, just a couple minutes. And that's really going to help improve your vision and help keep that eye lubricated. And we're going to talk later about nutrition because there's certain foods that you can eat that help to make sure that your eyes stay nice and lubricated and you don't get that dry eye feeling or that, that gritty burning feeling, especially at the end of a long day's work. Okay, let's hold on for the next video.